Hello guys, my name is Pavlo and today I'm gonna show you how to set up your Plasmic storefront for your Medusa server. I would assume that you're already familiar with Medusa framework and have your server running as well as all dependencies needed. So the first thing I have to do is I have to complete a few configurations on my Medusa backend and First thing I have to do is to enable localhost 3000 course and enable future flags. You can follow the instructions um, on the GitHub repo readme page. So I'll grab the localhost 3000 link here and I will open my IDE and I will be opening my Medusa env file and i will include localhost 3000 in my store course and i'll save the file and i will do the same thing for my modules exports so i'm going to copy code here and i'm going to go into my medusa config.js and at the very end of the file here i'm going to replace this code block and save it so our Medusa server configuration is done. So I can run the server. I'll navigate to my Medusa directory and run Medusa start. So my Medusa server is running on port 9000 and I'm ready to begin plasmic storefront configuration. So first thing that I'll do is I'll create a split terminal here and we're going to have our Medusa server terminal on the right side and our plasmic terminal on the left side. One of the things that you have to uh, have installed in order for your local machine communicate with the uh, plasmic studio is plasmic CLI by running this command here. I already have done so. And another thing you would need is to have your Plasmic authenticated. So you can do this by running uh, this command, pla Plasmic auth. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna run Plasmic auth and it's gonna open a web page where I need to authorize uh, my Plasmic. And for, the, for this video, I created a fresh uh, Plasmic account. As you can see, there is no projects. I'll replicate the, the environment that you most likely have. The next step is I will actually fork this repo and I'm using my demo GitHub account as well. So it, it will look very similar for you. So I'll create the fork here and I will clone this fork repo on my local machine. And I can do so by running git clone and it will create a folder with Medusa Plasmic store from demo and I will navigate to that folder and I will run plasmic init to initialize uh, my project. And I'll accept all default choices here, but you can um, customize them more granularly, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'll keep it all standard. And I would have to run npm install to install all dependencies for this project. And now I can run npm run dev. And that will spin up my project on localhost 3000. So if I visit that link, 
as you can see, it already loading some of the products from the back end. And currently I have only one Medusa t-shirt. So that's fine. When I have my local host uh, project running, I am ready to open uh, my studio project here. And as you can see, it's loaded successfully. Currently, I can only view the project. I cannot make any edits. So I will click here on copy project. And that will create a copy of this project where I can apply all changes. And a very important note, if you don't have your server running, so I'm going to shut down my uh, storefront server and try to refresh the page, it just won't load. So those of you who opened, who tried opening Studio Plasmic and you saw that, oh, it's, it's not working, you must complete the uh, setup steps on your local. And you, as you can see, it will ask you whether your host URL is correct. And you can update your, your host URL here, but I, ha I have it set up correctly. I'll just rerun the server. And I'll refresh the page. And it will load my studio again successfully. So side by side, I have my shop running and I have my plasmic project running. And as you can see, there is uh, the heading in this hero, hero section is different than heading in this hero section. So I'm actually going to type in Nemo here. And what are we going to do now is we're going to sync the code base with our changes in Plasmic into our local um, repository. And to do so, I need to run command Plasmic sync with my project ID. And you can find your project ID in the URL here on top of your project or by clicking this code button here. It will give you some instructions and you can find the API token and the ID for a Plasmic loader here, but you can use the one in the URL. So I'm gonna go here and I'm going to open another terminal window here. And I'm going to navigate to my storefront folder. And I'm going to paste the command. I'm going to copy the ID of my project. And I'm going to paste it right here. And Watch as I run this command, it's going to change the code base of, of my project. So as you can see, by Git, we have some of the things changed. And as you can see, there is a copy of my Medusa store folder with all the media. And this is my old folder, I would not necessarily need that, but let's keep it there for now. So if I go to my browser, to this page, you, as you can see, I have my, uh, my files updated. So, and I can search for that in my code base. Plasmic inserted changes directly into my code base. So I have full control over my code, yet I have the visual editing capabilities, very powerful design um, tools inside of Plasmic that allow me to work visually, yet sync it to my code base. We can replicate this setup on your local environment and see what you can make with it. I hope this was helpful. Thank you and see you next time.